sir. The secretary of the Goa legislature, who is the first appellate authority under the RTI Act, has today heard the final arguments on the appeal filed by me against the against the decision of the PIO of the legislature secretariat rejecting my application on the RTI on the grounds that uh, the information, if furnished, would be against the breach of the privilege of the House and that the information was also not permissible to be given due to the uh, rules of business of conduct of the Goa Legislative Assembly. Now, against that decision of the PIO to deny information, this appeal was filed. The arguments have been heard today and the first appellate authority has kept the matter for her order on Monday, the 29th of this month. Now, I have already pointed out to the first appellate authority that very surprisingly it has now come to light that the rules of the assembly were never ever notified. So, the PIO has relied on a on the rules which are not legal since those rules were not notified. Anyway, those rules do not pertain to the information which I had sought. Those rules pertain to what questions can be asked in the Goa Legislative Assembly. Now, the information that I had sought, the information that I had sought was details of the, of the two-day training session held for MLAs which was conducted by the Goa Legislative Assembly in in July this year. So that information was sought. The details of the entire training workshop held for MLAs and the total expenditure incurred on that two-day training program for MLAs. So by no stretch of Im imagination could such information be denied on the grounds that it would be breach of privilege of the House. Now, at the last hearing, I had requested the first appellate authority that the PIO should be asked to explain on which day those rules were notified, the rules of conduct of the business of the Goa Legislative Assembly. I raised that issue again today and the PIO had no information to furnish on which day the rules were notified, which means the PIO admits that those rules were not notified and this is something very serious because for all these years, the business of the Goa Legislative Assembly were conducted on the basis of these rules which are not legal since they were never, never notified. So we will now await the order of the first appellate authority which would be pronounced on Monday at 11.30. So there will be no hearing? No. The, uh, the final uh, arguments have, been, have concluded today and the first appellate authority has kept the matter for her order on 29th which is Monday at 11.30. So are you confident that the order will come? It has to come you? because I have pointed out, I have pointed out that uh, uh, this denial of this information is contrary to the RTI Act because the RTI Act mandates that there has to be transparency and openness in the functioning of the of governance. In fact, I have not asked anything that is confidential. I have just asked details and I also details on the two-day uh, training program held for MLAs. I have in my appeal also pointed out and I argued before the first appellate authority that a similar training program was held in 2012 at, at Hotel Mandovi and I then sought all that information and that information was furnished to me. So this, this is our right to know the manner in which uh, governance is being conducted. So this uh, information could not have been suppressed and, and denied to me. So if this order comes in your favor, then the, all other proceedings will be under RTI or only this thing will be under RTI? No, no, no. This, uh, the legislative secretary has been furnishing information to others on the RTI. Now, this is the first time they have come under the pretext of that, uh, that it is breach of the rules of uh, uh, business and that it would be breach of the house. So this is a very strange stand taken by him, which which the PIO himself was unable to justify. So Goa is already under RTI. The Goa Legislative Assembly is already under RTI. That is exactly because the Goa Legislative Secretary, uh, Goa Legislature Secretary, has a PIO 
and it has a first appellate authority. So it is clear that uh, uh, Goa Legislative Secret uh, Secretary is under under the RTI Act. Thank you.